a beautiful day here today. We had some real stormy weather the weekend, but it's gorgeous here now. So I was going to go for a little snowshoe around and I thought maybe I'll do some videoing. We'll go check out the garden and the barn and just the homestead in general. Everything is covered in a nice blanket of snow. This is one of our chicken tractors that we use to haul our broilers around in the summer. Another one tucked over in the trees. The other two got blown away. They're down yonder in our big windstorm. That's our barn. Still pretty much done, but a little bit left to do on it. You can hear the boys in there. Let's go see them. Hello boys. They're not very happy today. Oops. So they've got a lot of snow in their yard. Hey Jimbo. Marcus, are you peeing on yourself over there? Marcus, you are. Chickens are back there, but they're not out today, of course. Well, actually, the rooster's out over there, I think, by himself. Our girls haven't been out too much either. Hey, Teeny and Matilda. We have one, this little girly, who was on planned uh, breeding back in September, so we're pretty sure she's going to kid within the next week or two. She's a first timer, so in February, so we're, we were kind of hoping our first kids would be... Um, you know, in May, in warmer weather, but uh, alas, that's all we can do. So we're going to make the best of it. Going in here with snowshoes is not so fun. Hello, Miss Teeny. There's Teeny. And Matilda. They got it nice and cozy in here, of course. They're looking for some treats there now. And the boys. I think the boys got most of their hay on. Marcus is smiling. And up here is one of our big yards that we pasture our broilers in. You can see this chicken tractor over here did not fare so well in the last big windstorm we had. It landed actually right where we have some apple and pear trees planted. This is the site of my gardens. So here's where my gardens are. I can't really see well out here because it's so bright on the camera. But right here is like bed one, I think. Then bed two, 
three, four, five. So we're going to try to do a bed here, here, at least two new beds this year, maybe a third. We'll see. So we've got a whole big area that we could turn into gardens eventually. And my garlic is planted right in the middle bed, all tucked away for the winter. I'm hoping it didn't start sprouting. I kind of looked when we had the mild, because we only just got winter. Like it really didn't start until a week ago. So I didn't see any signs of it sprouting, but and it's well covered up. If I look behind me, that's where my greenhouses are up there. My son's little shed. So here's my two greenhouses, kind of tucked away. Kind of down at the bottom of a bit of bit of a hill. It's really warm there, so it's a great place for them. We're actually looking in the future of maybe putting a root cellar somewhere on this little bit of a hill. It's not a super big hill, but it'll give us a bit of an advantage. Who knows? We'll see. Up here is our old coop, chicken coop, that we have a few chickens in right now, but it's mostly our brooder for our broilers and stuff in the summer and new chickens. We do have a rooster there with a little lady. He um, got in a bit of a fight with our other rooster there about a month ago, or two months ago now. Pretty bad fight, and he got really torn up. Um, so we had to put him there to recoup, and we gave him a little lady friend, just so he had somebody. And they're pretty happy there. It's not ideal. We'd like to have all our chickens together. But he is a super fabulous rooster. So we're trying to kind of decide what to do with them because the other rooster is pretty nice too. They just don't work well together. So we'll kind of see. So this is our bigger greenhouse, or as I like to call it, the spider greenhouse because there is an absurd amount of spiders in this greenhouse in the summer. As you can see on the top there, it's got torn. Normally the plastic holds up, but the back of it um, had a tear in it. And then the wind, we had this big storm, and it just mangled it. So we've got some repair work to do on this one. And then my other greenhouse is just this old guy that's been with us for quite a while. It's been revamped. Just got a piece of plastic over the door window there for the winter. This one I use pots in uh, to grow most of my peppers. And for whatever reason, we don't get a lot of spiders in this one. But this one, yeah. Spider Central. I've got beds in there, which I think I'm taking out. I don't know what I'm doing, but this is getting all revamped this year, or somewhat, to make it, um, well, we have to replace the plastic to make it usable now. This down here in between my greenhouses, down by the bog, is where my marshmallow plants are that I did a video on. Right in there. Here's my potager garden, I guess we're calling it. Probably just started the chainsaw, so. Not sure how it's going to be. 
So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve beds in here so far. So I'm hoping to get a bit of work done on this this year, but I've planted a lot of herbs and berries, all kinds of good stuff in here. It is super cold out today. You can probably see my rosy cheeks, but it's nice. The sun is shining and it's blue sky, so it is awesome. As you can probably hear, I don't know, Jimbo up there likes to scream a lot. I was in here earlier and it's just beautiful with the snow on the trees. So I'm going to come back in again now that I have my camera. This is a spot down in the woods that the boys had a big fort when they were younger. It's gone now. You can see the snow on the trees. It's beautiful. Down here we just have a lot of spindly black spruce, so we lose a lot in windstorms. They fall down. So you can see we got one big old spruce here that fell, I don't know when, but recently. So that'll either be for wood, firewood, or for milling, I don't know. It's pretty nice. So. We can see lots more sort of tipped on angles. Oh yeah, we've got some cleanup to do down here. Mm -hmm. 